Most adaptive learning content today is developed by publishers. Can faculty develop their own adaptive learning content? And if so, what do they need to know to do it? With more vendors coming to market with authoring products, we asked McGraw-Hill Education about their philosophy as one of those vendors. So if I'm a history professor and I teach, let's say I teach in a southern university and I am teaching uh, a very specific course on the regional development of New Orleans, yes. for example. Yes. There just isn't a textbook out there. Yes. I would love to have my students learn and master some basic facts so that we can have class conversation about that. And I would love to use these new technologies yeah. to help me. Am I out of luck? You're not. So we recognize that that's a need both for you and for lifelong learning. And so we've taken this platform and we've opened it up for others to use. But it's not fully self-service. There needs to be training and understanding in terms of how to do it, and we offer that. So if you are that professor who has the de dedication and time to build learning resources, and we recognize not everybody's paid to do that or has the time, but if you have that time, you have this other pathway to work with us to get it done. But it's not something where you wake up 15 minutes before a class on a Monday morning and decide to do it is the other point. It requires thoughtful design. It requires a rigorous process. We can teach you how to do it. We can help you do it, but you're not out of luck. How much work is it for me to learn what I need to learn to be my own learning engineer for my class, to learn how to design adaptive courseware? For so some of that starts with when you went through your graduate school training, are you a domain expert or do you know ed theory? So that's one part of it. Assume I don't know ed theory. So uh, Matt works with some of those folks today. Yep. So why don't you talk about what you think sort of the, the lift is to be competent and self-sufficient. Yep. So my team is the team that does the support and the training and the what does this button do. And we find that showing you how to use the tool is something that we can do in a morning. But what's really challenging is the instructional design piece. And it can be even more difficult if you're someone who knows the content backwards and forwards. Because you have to take a step back and you have to imagine if you were seeing it for the first time. And it's all about taking an entire course, breaking it into these small pieces, and then thinking about how you test mastery and provide remediation for each bite-sized piece. And as we're talking about, it takes practice. But it's something that if you attack the problem with an open mind and really can put yourself in the mindset of a learner, that you can build over the course of a semester. But the other fortunate thing is many of our college campuses today have really gifted instructional designers on campus. And so probably the most fruitful way to do it is to partner with Matt's team, to partner with your campus instructional designer, and you as expert to bring that to life. And to start, as Matt said, you need to think about it a semester ahead of time. It's not something you do in the moment. Yeah.